I'm just hoping that Lisa actually listens to my side today and is going to be open-minded because up until now, I don't feel like she's hearing anything I'm saying. Hi. Hi. You look pretty. Thanks. Those are cute. Oh, it's happening. It's freezing. Really cold. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. So I want to know why you're upset with me. You know, obviously, Dorit and I had a very big disconnect. We, we were having a hard time understanding each other. And, yeah. you know, you kept going out of your way to make her point clear to me. And then when I was trying to make, you know, my point to her and explain where I was coming from, you, you know, you sat silent. The second that I tried to even say anything for Kyle, Teddy, with all due respect, be quiet. Why can she speak for you, but then the second somebody wants to... I don't think she was speaking for me. She was... She was showing... Support for your support. position. Yes. There are times when Dorit lives in her own reality. I've experienced it. Your husband had said some pretty strong things about me. You know, you have to think about this. But what has my Andrew husband said? A drug addict? <laughs> like, schizophrenic? She's like one person one day and another person in another moment. You don't really know who There's you're going to get. For that. It's called schizophrenic. I don't think. But you I'm don't think your husband did that? No. I'm not sure Dorit has come to a place where she's had to take a good look at herself. I don't want to create a problem with you and Dorit. It's how I'm feeling about your reaction to this. That is the problem. I feel like I'm taken for granted.